to lead with equal measure of a soft heart and a firm mind and really for me that's all about you know making sure that you're balancing every decision with rigor intellect hunger and ambition but also with empathy kindness and really lifting the people around you up uh, my leadership mantra is that uh, you should never ask your team to do something that you know you yourself have either not done before or f or could not do yourself an appetite for risk i think she's one of the best risk takers i know uh, the second is truly loving and living life to the fullest and that's really both uh, within work but also very importantly outside of work uh and lastly i think it's a, a good measure of thick skin and not letting the lows of entrepreneurship get to you um i think i've always been very impressed by how even keeled and emotionally balanced and sound she is i learned from my mother how to be patient and not expect uh success to follow um you know immediately i think she's put in a lot of time and effort to create nike and it it you know she, she did it at the age of 50 uh that too and she was extremely passionate about it so i think bringing passion to the table and then uh, having patience uh to see the fruits of your labor to really be a consumer brand that is so deeply loved by consumers around the country um and one that lives in the consumers minds and hearts for many many generations and decades to come uh, a brand that truly outlives each and every one of us i think that would be the ultimate privilege to get to be able to be part of a journey and part of a brand that has that impact on the indian consumer i think our vision for nike is to uh, continue to grow the company into becoming a household name in the country uh, finally you know we are a direct we are a consumer company and our success is fully dependent on whether the consumers embrace us so i think for us it's about always having our pulse on what indians uh, like and ensuring that we are delivering a first class experience to them so that we may continue uh, to service them and as a result uh, you know find a place in their homes um the biggest takeaway for me that has really influenced me is uh that you know after a high there is a low and after a low there is a high and that's the truth of life uh, but it's absolutely most definitely the truth of business so not allowing neither the highs uh, to lift you too high up and, and not allowing the lows to you know debilitate you is really something that i try to practice failure has taught me that um you know at times you're up and at times you're down but i think you know at no point uh, should you feel like you know you'll always be down or you'll always be up so i think i've learned that life is definitely very cyclical and you should uh, not take the failures too hard and don't take the successes uh, too you know too positively or too well either kind of remain even keel number one trust i think there's so much trust between family members when they work together uh, and that's a huge advantage um i believe in business so i think just being able to depend so wholeheartedly on each other is something i really cherish uh, i think the second advantage is that um particularly when you combine two generations as we have in in the nike case uh, we're really able to bring um a lot of you know the wisdom of of the older generation but a lot of um you know the pulse of the younger consumer through the younger generation so i think the new age thinking combined with you know the world class uh, years of experience is a pretty dynamic combination to have and i've seen it pan out quite nicely here at nike and uh, the third benefit i would say is um you know i think for me personally having uh, both my parents as um you know very able um uh, professionals entrepreneurs has always made it incredibly easy for me to you know find mentorship and um to learn so much from them and so i think i feel very very grateful that i don't have to look very far when it comes to thinking about how i want to lead what i want to learn what i want to do i have um, some fantastic role models in that regard i think the uh, the biggest advantage of course is the ability to create uh, you know to create a business that is uh, valuable to its all of its stakeholders so most importantly our customers followed by our shareholders uh, and our employees so the ability to, to go to work every day and build a business that has meaning in a lot of people's lives for me that is uh the biggest advantage of being a next gen entre uh, next gen uh, entrepreneur
Uh, it's it's really exciting and I feel uh, you know very uh, honored and it's sort of surreal to be included in this list. Uh, so thank you to Forbes for making that possible. Um, but I also definitely want to dedicate this to the teams behind the scenes, the Nike Army, as we say. I think you know we individually get recognized, but it's really just the hundreds of people behind the scenes who just devote and dedicate themselves and who are so brilliant um, in their own. And so really, this is for them. Uh, it's extremely humbling. I think uh, for us, it's a true honor, and uh, you know. It's taken an army to build Nike, and uh, there's thousands of uh, there's thousands of people, colleagues of mine, uh, who we work with, who've made it a success. And I'm just truly humbled that Forbes has recognized all the efforts of Nike. And uh, of course, it's you know it feels very nice and very uh, it's a big responsibility for me. And I'm truly honored to be part of this list. Thank you.